Hey, it's Earthcast from... If you haven't seen the last development log, I'd highly suggest watching that first. In this one, we'll be taking a look at the rest of the underground and the sauna. This time, instead of taking the right door, we'll go straight ahead. This leads to this staircase that takes you down to this room. It has four pillars on each side and two large garage doors on each side. I made this room to sort of be a hub area, which is why I made it bigger than the rest and added the garage doors. Other than that, there's not much of note besides the vents. Going through the left garage door takes you to this hallway. The real centerpiece of this room is the ceiling. There are a ton of vents and grates, and the metal grate covering it are slowly falling apart. There are also barrels and food up here, which implies someone somehow got up there. Just a nice little bit of storytelling. There is also a window up here, which looks into the room with the grate leading to the surface. Other than that, where the hallway leads is currently unfinished. Going back to the main room and going through the left garage door takes you to a similar hallway. It has the same vents and grates in the ceiling, just a little less though. Once again, it's got the usual decals and scattered props. Now onto the sauna. The sauna is outside the wall and near the abandoned broken house. The front of the building has a large sign and bits of plaster chipping off its walls. The inside isn't much better, as most of it has been trashed. It still remains much cosier and warmer than the outside though. The room on the right is the heating room. It has a boiler and another big machine thing inside of it. The room on the left is the security room or lobby. I don't really know. As you can see, the door has been busted off. The most notable thing in this room is the desk with the monitor. Going straight forward, you will find two broken sauna tops. The one on the left has been completely destroyed, with all of its water gone. There's also some barrels inside of it. The one on the right, however, still has a little bit of water left. There is also this wooden wall panel that has fallen off and is leading on the edge of the pool. And that's all for now. If you like this video, please check out my other hammer related videos, and I'll see you in the next one.